So I've started to screencastify because I want to record this for those folks who um, Yep, we're going to do them all on that page and you'll have all week to do them. You don't have to do them all now. Uh, but I just want to show you guys how to screenshot that page so we can uh, submit it to the assignment. So um, I'll go ahead and uh, share my screen now. And let's see if it works without my computer crashing here. Can you guys see it? Just say yes if you can. Perfect, perfect. All right, so um, I've already dropped the link to this uh, Google slide in the chat. Um, so hopefully you guys are here. Uh, once you get here, uh, you'll have to click on file in the top left corner here. And then you'll have to scroll down to make a copy. And then you'll make a copy of the entire presentation. So once you click that, it'll give you, and I'm not gonna do it because this is already my copy. Um, so uh, it'll uh, take you to this screen and if you can see it, the very first slide, I already have an example on how it should look for you here, but we're going to do another one real quick and I'm going to show you guys how to crop it. So um, once you finish your lesson, uh, it's going to have it in the page like this and we're only doing uh, lesson seven and you are going to complete 7.1, 7.2, 7.3, 7.4, 7.5, 7.6. Together there. Um, and if you see it, it looks very familiar. It looks like uh, edge of typing and it looks like some of the uh, typing uh, lessons that I've put in the worksheets that we had. So um, once you complete the lesson, uh, it'll give you your score and I'll show you in the example here. It'll give you your score here. It'll show your mistakes. Uh, it'll show if you go back and try to correct it, it'll put it in orange or yellow, or whatever that is there. And then it gives you uh, everything from here. It gives you your words per minute, your accuracy, your errors, and your keys per second. Um, so what you'll do at that particular point is you will then screenshot your results. So I'm gonna just screenshot this page. Um, so on your Chromebook is a little bit different from my device. So I'm gonna screenshot it here. And then I'll go back to the assignment and I'll get a blank page and then I will paste it again. There it is. Paste it. And then from there, uh, it'll show the entire page. OK, so if you click on it, it'll then give you options to to uh, resize. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to resize it and then I'm going to crop it. So if you go right here to this icon, it allows you to crop images. And I know you guys are familiar with how to crop and all that stuff. It's a little bit different in uh, this platform than it is in most others. Um, so once you click on crop, it's going to bring those little black uh, brackets around the image. So then you'll just uh, move that around. And the only thing you really need is the lesson that you're working on. So once you get that part in and make sure it has your score there, because in the one I, I didn't have a score, so it won't have my score there. And once you get it in there, you just press enter. And once you press enter, it removes everything from around it, and then you can resize it or whatever, or however, however you have it. And so I can easily see it. And that's basically it. You're gonna do that for each one of these slides. So the first one, the number two is of course, for the uh, 1.7 and all of these uh, that you see here are hyperlinked. So you'll be able to go directly to the assignment if you click on those. If you'll go directly to the uh, lesson if you click on it. They're all hyperlinked right back to uh, howtotype.com. Um, so again, once you, and I, I'll do it one more time, uh, just in case. Uh, so I'll just screenshot a, another lesson. Let's go down to the bottom. And I'll do my screenshot feature or function. And then I'll go back to my worksheet. And then I'll paste it. And then I will press on the crop image up here in the, from the toolbar. And then I will just move it around the part that I need. And then I'll press enter. And then you can just resize it on the page. So if you want this actual one where it says uh, 
uh, place your image here. That's actually a box you can get rid of. So if you just highlight it and then click delete, it'll get rid of that. And um, th there you have it. Um, I don't really care about this part. Once you submit it, you can cover that up if you want. This part is important because it basically tells us what is what. Um, and then you guys can resign it, resize it from that point. And then from there, you will submit the assignment to our assignment in Canvas. So you'll go to the assignment in Canvas, click on, of course, mine is going to look a little bit different. Um, let's go to student view real quick and see if that'll help. No, well, I think I'm doing too much. It's not going to let me. So uh, you'll just click on submit assignment here and then go to your Google Drive and submit that work from there. Now, again, you need to make sure you submit all of the completed lessons. So this is a ongoing process. If you want to do them all today, you can. But if you want to take, you know, you have until Sunday to complete all of the lessons in 1.7. So if you want to go back, you want to do one or two today and then, you know, do two or three tomorrow and do the last one on Saturday, that's perfectly fine. As long as you complete your the uh, the completed presentation here, it should be filled up with your screenshots for the assignment. And then you'll submit this to the assignment as well. So uh, hopefully you guys understand. And if you have questions, you can always send me a message in our Canvas inbox and I can walk you through it. I'll stop sharing my screen now. Um, and now from that particular point, I think um, I've covered everything that I needed to cover. Um, so 